welcome. So this question says a student runs 40 meters around a circular track of 50 meters radius and what is a angular displacement? So let's visualize to begin with here's a circular track and here's the radius and we know this radius is 50 meters. And then the student, the student starts off and runs 40 meters around here so this is 40 meters and the question is asking what is this angular displacement what is this delta theta this this change in angular coordinate if you like this is theta i this is theta f and we can think about this in terms of uh, radians so what we say is well we know that the an angle in radians is equal to the arc length over the radius that's a definition remember that the degree is completely uh, uh, arbitrarily made up 360 degrees in a circle is is actually historical and it comes from you know uh, um, millennia ago uh, I think it comes from Babylonia actually it's a long time ago um, so if you had an alien coming in from outer space they wouldn't necessarily have 360 degrees in a circle but they would have something equivalent to a to a radian because um, it's natural to take the arc length and divide it by the radius when you want to work out how far you've gone around a circle. Um, so then we can say, well, okay, uh, if you like, our delta theta is equal to theta f minus theta i. And we know that our delta theta equals theta f minus, and we know this is zero because it's at my starting point. So the question is, what is this theta f? And we can say, well, theta f in this case is equal to our arc length, which is 40, divided by our radius, which is 50, which is 0 0.8. So having found that, we can say our angular displacement is equal to 0 0.8 minus 0 radians so my angular displacement is equal to 0 0.8 radians